In this problem, we have two-year bonds, 15-year bonds that was issued two years ago at a coupon rate of 5.9%. These bonds make semi-annual payments, and if these bonds currently sell for 105% of par value, what is the yield to maturity? Well, let's go ahead and assume par value is 100, bond price therefore is 105. Two years ago, this was a bond that had 15 years left in maturity, now it has 13. That's the coupon rate, that's the compounding frequency. We could either use the rate function in Excel. First, the number of periods, which is the maturity in years times compounding frequency. Payment is the coupon amount, which is the coupon rate times the face value divided by the compounding frequency. We're going to put a negative in front of that. Next argument is uh, present value, which is the price. Uh, it is right here, 105. And the final value, the face value, I'm going to put a negative in front of that. As you see, the present value is positive. The payments in the future, both coupons and face value, are negative. This gives me a rate, but this is a rate for period. That means I need to multiply it by two by the compounding frequency, 536. Alternatively, I can go to my template. Maturity in years is 13. Coupon frequency is that. 5.9 coupon rate, 105 is the bond value, and 100 is the face value. And yield to maturity is 536, as we have seen in the previous problem.